everybody, welcome back. Joe Gambino here. Today we're going to be doing hip mobility exercise, specifically focusing on hip abduction. We'll be doing some panels, rails, contraction out of the butterfly base position. If you guys uh, like this type of content, this video, hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. This will give you uh, notifications each time uh, a video comes out, so you'll be able to stay up weekly with the updated uh, videos that we're, we're putting out there. So let's get started guys, getting into butterfly base position. I'm gonna use a wall behind me. That's just gonna provide me feedback for my torso because I want not, some of the conversation we see is that people either lean back or they'll slouch forward. So we wanna work on keeping a nice tall torso. And then from here, we're going to set up so that our uh, bottoms of our feet are touching together and then our knees are out kind of wide. And then what we're going to do here is I want you to think about actively pulling your knees to the floor as far as you can and you should start to feel a stretch inside the groin of those adductors. Uh, from there we're going to take our hands and we're going to just give it a little push down some more. So we're going to bring it into some passive range here and we should kind of be locking in on a four to five out of 10 level stretch. We don't want to have like the most intense stretch possible. We want to, you know, maybe push it down 10 to 15 um, degrees or so. So we lock in on that medium um, level stretch. And from here, you know, we'll just spend some time in the position as we talk a little bit about what a pales, rails contraction or what they are, are different isometric contractions to help us start to build control, awareness, and strength within this position. So in this passive range, which I didn't have access to before, I want to start to build awareness and strength in, the, in this position so I can start to improve my flexibility or my passive range of motion so that later on I can then start to make it more and more active with different types of um, exercises out of this position. So the way that we're going to start is by creating a small amount of force so my knees are going to push into my forearms just gently I like to say like 25 percent or whatever the maximum amount you think you can push and then from there we're going to add a little bit more pressure until we're at 50 percent of the max and then we're going to keep adding more tension to you at 75 percent keep building up until you're at 100 percent my forearms are making sure that my knees don't actually move up and now I should feel like my adductors are working really hard. This is a 10 second hold. Being that I talked for so long, there's about three seconds left to hold this contraction. Two, one, I'm gonna try now to peel my knees lower off of my forearm. So no longer using forearm help, I'm actively trying to squeeze my glutes to pull my knees closer to the floor. We're holding here for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one hands come back on in this position and we'll do one more round together each pales rails contraction is 10 seconds long all right so when we start the pales contraction we slowly irradiate we slowly build tension we start with 25 percent slowly add more until we're at 50 percent keep adding more until you're at 75 percent and then work your way up to 100 percent and we hold for 10 9 8 7 6 5 four, three, two, one. I try to peel my knees even closer to the floor for 10, nine, eight, keep pulling down, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hands back down, holding that position. So usually I recommend doing three rounds of that, those pales rails. Um, and I always like to proceed it with some sort of passive stretch some breathing, hanging out, um, just get accustomed to the position before creating those isometrics. Um, and if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a comment below, tell me you know, what you think about it or if there's anything else you guys want me to be uh, creating content around. Um, I want you guys to start to help cultivate the content that comes out to this YouTube channel. So feel free to let me know what you guys are looking for. Um, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next week.